We started feeling really bad, really sad. The parents of a local eight year old boy are warning others about the dangers of COVID-19 after the boy contracted a rare disease from being exposed. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Marcella Lee. The boy is currently being treated at Rady Children's Hospital for multi-system inflammatory syndrome, also known as MISC. The condition is associated with inflammation in the body, which in some cases can be deadly. News 8's Shannon Handy has more on his story, including why his parents say they blame themselves because they they are not vaccinated. Eight year old Eduardo Cortez has been here at Rady Children's Hospital since Saturday. Now, while his condition has improved dramatically, he was very sick. His parents say they wish they would have taken COVID more seriously. He was really, really, really sick. For nearly a week, Leo and Rosa Cortez haven't left their son Eduardo's side. <laughs> they took him to Rady Children's Hospital on Saturday with a high fever, but never envisioned he'd still be here. I thought it was a, just a, like a fever, a normal fever, but everything was increasing. The eight-year-old was diagnosed with multi-system inflammatory syndrome, or MISC, a rare but serious condition that affects children exposed to COVID. MISC is a brand new disease. It was discovered in April of 2020 in the United Kingdom. Since then, there have been about 4,000 cases in the United States, 80 of them are rabies. Though no local children have died from MISC, nationally, the mortality rate in the U.S. is between 3 to 5 percent. Kids are coming in with fever. They develop rash, some red eyes, some neck pain and swelling of the neck. They get severe abdominal pain as well. It also causes inflammation of the heart. Dr. Adriana Tremolay says Eduardo has exhibited all of those symptoms. At one point, his temperature reached 105 degrees. His treatment included steroids and other anti-inflammatory medications. In most cases, MISC affects children 8 to 14, about two to six weeks after they've been exposed to COVID. Eduardo's parents had COVID in early August. Leo isn't vaccinated. His wife has only had one dose. It's because we don't think that this is not going to happen to us. Now we understand now that this is a wrong decision that we took. Leo and Rosa are sharing their story in hopes of convincing others to get the vaccine, which they intend to do, saying if they could go back in time, they would. It already happened to me, and I don't want to happen to anybody else, especially for the kids. Eduardo will be released in the next few days, at which point he will be monitored as doctors try and figure out the long-term effects of MISC.